Hello, welcome back to the spider's web. As you remember from the last video, we're going now to do the rogue trader. There's not much of this flesh crawler going on. He doesn't seem to... Uh, or he doesn't seem to have very too much flesh on. Not sure, because he's got uh, the longish hair and a beard. Right, let's get his face done. Next, let's get his gold areas sorted out. Um, okay, so that is her. The metal here is going to be gold, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to try and remember to keep doing this. Okay, and that's gold as well. And that. Um, these little studs here around the collar, they're going to be gold as well, but. Um, I'm only going to do them after I finish, I'm just going to do a bit of a dry brush over with gold and then when, once I finish the, the coat itself the skull on his shoulder here can and that it's going to be gold as well because I still the hem of his jacket I think that is it for the gold anyway <coughs> ok so let's wash off our brush and let's make a start on the red areas and as you know by now when I'm doing red over black I use my crack red and everything that's going to be red gets painted in this and then I go over with um, the deck red later on when it's dried Before I do anything else, um, a Greg Surf shade is going over to dull everything down before I start putting the highlights on. So, hopefully, this is going to be quite a, a simple model to paint. As per usual, though, all the, all the time goes into highlighting. That's where I said I was going to do with uh, the talent sand. Never mind. Okay. So that's that done. I just need to turn up a few places here and there, and then we can get the um, get the Greg Surf shade out and give it a blast over with that. So, the bronzed flesh, 
for his throat. I really don't need to fuss about that very much. He's got a beard there. And I'm going to go going over it with uh, Agrax Earth Shade on the way to darken it up, so chances are you may not see it fully. Here we go. There was somewhere else, wasn't there? Yeah, there. There we are. That's that done. And now just a touch with black just on his hair. Because I, I definitely have gone over with the red. sure the hair is black in its uh, recesses. I think this phone looks like Vincent Price. Hey, come on, that, that is Vincent Price, isn't it? <laughs> oh, never mind. It may just be my strange imagination. Okay, what's next? Ballo Brown, I think. No, not Ballo Brown, it's a bit too dark. Uh, Talon Sand for his for the lining of his jack coat. I think it's a jacket then, it's a coat. I've just seen somewhere else I've missed with the tin bits. It's only a small area, but it's an area that's going to be gold. And I want the recesses done in much the same way as the hair. I want to make sure that the recesses are all gold. Ah, oh, sorry, the recesses are all tin bits. Is that I think that is it for the time being for painting. We'll just leave it a few seconds while it dries. The model's now dry, so let's. Give him a bath. There we go. Right, so we just have to wait now for that to that to glue, that to dry. Then we can come back, come back. And highlight. Okay, we're back, <coughs> and the Vagrax uh, Earth shade has dried. I think for the most part, yep, it's dried. So let's carry on, shall we? So we start off with scab red, and this is the one that's going over, as you know. Everything is red. <coughs> I 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out the um, my little pallet. I'm going to place some of the scabbard on it, and then wash the brush slightly, and then we'll add some blood red. To the mix, and as I said, this is just going to be the highlight, it's not going to be the major colour because I want, want the coat to be dark. So I'm just go on the top edge of this colour here, shoulder pad. Again from the shoulder pad radiating downwards. And on the other shoulder pad do a little bit. Just need a touch more on that colour. And now just in the centre of this area and this area and we don't need it really down here let's put a little spot just to show a difference and that is it really for that for the moment but we're going to add some more of the blood red to it and this time I'm going to be using this as the main highlight colour but we need quite a bit of the blood red and we're doing it as though we've um, got most of the scab red cleared just what am I saying? It's as though we've got the blood red and just put a spot of scabbard in, and we're not going too far down here either. And the same here as well, just a touch directly down. <coughs> and directly on top. Oops. On the skull, there we go. Now, looking at the markings on the collar, I've decided that I'm going to add the when I said markings and mouldings, I'm going to add the um, tin bits to the very tip, not, not, to, well, not to the very tip, but to the front to it because it looks as though there's a little bit of um, moulding here that we could use as the gold so we're just going to do that now on both sides Touching it with the tin bits. What we need to do now is the flesh. And I'm only doing this to get away from the um, red for the time being because I want to go in and do the braids. And that's only going to be done um, that's going to only going to be done in blood red and I don't particularly want to do it yet while it's still while it still could be a little bit wet so it's just a case of I'll finish his face off before we 
go any further. Oh. Mm -hmm. 